Hello friends, welcome. This is Ubarat of Qureshi. Welcome back to my channel. And in this lesson, we are going to talk about persistence. And uh, we, in my last uh, session, we saw that uh, what persistence is. And we, I, I actually demonstrated one of the types that is the cookie persistence, right? So in this uh, lesson, we will be talking about the uh, persistence type based on the source IP address, right? So that that is basically. Uh, if I if I talk about source, uh, I mean IP address. Uh, this basically comes under IP affinity. Okay, I'll be showing this. Uh, show I'll be showing you this inside the GUI, and under this you will see source and your uh, destination IP address. So that is the actual. Okay, there it is, right? So this is what we are going to talk, talk about in this uh, 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 session, right? And I'll be demonstrating the same. So let's go to my, okay, this is the one. And if I go to uh, say, okay, I have this one. I will go into my uh, big IP F5, log in with the admin and admin123 is my credentials. Let's, let's just, uh, I mean, reset everything so that we can see the uh, results right so this is my virtual server if i go to my statistics inside this sorry virtual server again i do F, i mean all the time i do this so i need to go to pools i need to okay it's already resetted so let's talk about the ip address type right what happens so this is basically based on the uh, source IP address. So what happens is this is your client on the internet, right? Over the internet, it accesses, it, it wants to access the resource inside your um, server farm, but you have an F5 connected before that to do the load balancing. And so say this is like, say, I'll take in my case, this is enter to 120, right? So for this guy, source IP address is what? 192.1.100 dot 120 and the destination for this packet would be your 192 the virtual server ip right 100 dot 150 so like that so based on this what happens is the f5 is going to keep a record okay uh, the persistence record uh, i'll be showing you that you can check that in the GUI as well as the cli so it will uh, it will map the source ip with the pool in our case, we have the pool HTTP pool, I think, yeah, and then the uh, node itself, okay, and then the node would be your IP address of the pool member, sorry, not the pool member, pool node is just the IP, but pool member is the IP plus the port, so it would be your pool member, okay, pool member, and then there is something called age, so uh, that is actually the uh, uh, time period in in seconds or in minutes before this uh, table is fleshed out okay so within that time period if uh, any packet comes to f5 it, it is going to forward the packet based on this record okay so that age is also there and you can also set the age according to yourself you can just uh, and by default we'll see how much it is i don't remember as of now we'll check in the the gui right so let's do this based on the source IP and I also said that you can do it based on host as well as on network. So let's do uh, based on nodes, uh, sorry, host slash 32 uh, mask. Uh, that is by default what it is. And we'll be using that uh, profile, the default profile of the source IP. And then I'll show you how to create a, a custom profile and then we can uh, change the uh, age as well as the mask length here, there. So for that, you need to go to your virtual servers Okay, what I have done is I have added two Linux boxes. So I'll set up the IP address. So let's see one and then two. So for one, I have already the one that is my 120, right? So let's, okay, some issue with this one. And let me boot it up again. Okay, if I go here, let me check the, I don't think I have any IPs. So let me configure the IP. So let's keep this as 192.100. Uh, okay. 200 okay that is 100.200 okay 
and um, I don't need the gateway uh, broadcast is fine save configurations apply so exit and cross and if I check my IP address through the if found fake I should see okay if zero I'm not able to see I don't know what's the issue let me just go again here exit network use you know so 192.1.100.1200 mask is this okay fine gateway let's keep as 1110 not necessary but yeah fine save configuration apply yes exit and now it should work so now if i go to my http like this 192.1.100.150 so it should prompt it should basically okay let me check again some issue guys yeah, bear with me okay it is taking the one dot i mean 100 or 200 let me ping my virtual server 192.1.100.150 right this is the virtual server it's reachable then why okay i've done https oh my, come on guys you should have told me it's like this and the password is admin and i mean cisco123 admin is username so here you can say that this is i think i have some earlier persistence profile i need to delete that okay and if i go here i've done this what about my uh, other box so i have one at 200 and this one should be at 120 that is my default one so 192 168 192.1.100 and uh, yeah this is not uh, like mandatory this is optional but i like to configure this exit cross and if i go http uh, only two t's 192 1.100.150 so that is the admin and cisco 123 so yeah so this is i think uh, still i'm using the cookie base let me check my uh, big ip configurations i need to go to my http server go to resources and uh, yeah so this is and uh, you have to keep it as none update let's go to the uh i was testing this actually that's why it's like that so i need to take this to default okay guys okay once this is done and now what you need to do is to set up uh yeah it is same like the uh persistence that we did in the cookie type like but now we are going to specify the source type so source ip address type. so you have to go to the virtual uh server click on the virtual server specify the protocol as tcp and then http profile apply the http profile and update okay next is the uh, persistence profile again you have to go to the so resources and here you have the default persistence you can see all this now what we are going to use is the source address right source address and update right so now this is updated okay now that we have specified this so what should happen is i should have a record for both of the uh, linux boxes so okay before that what i need to do is i need to go to my um, statistics right i need to uh i mean go here and go to so i have some statistics here i have to go and reset this okay so once this is done yeah correct now i have to go to my server i mean the both the linux boxes and this one is if i check if this has the ip address of uh, 200 so if i go here and i refresh so this is going to my server 3 right let me try this one this is my 120 so http 192 1.100.150 right enter admin and then this is for 123 so this should go to another server so this is going to server 2 and it will continue remaining on server 2 so my 200 i mean the uh, the machine on 200 ip address is going to server 3 and this is going to server 2 so if i go and check my what do you say the big ip appliance here and and okay you can see two and three no no requests are going to uh, uh this uh, server one right 
so if you want to check this you can check it in i think uh monitors and not here so yeah so you can check it in the virtual server you can go actually you can go to the statistics and module and traffic also but there are different ways right you can go here and you can go to the persistence uh record so okay so this is disabled anyways i'll show you how to enable this and plus i'll show you how to check this on the um, uh, cli so you can uh, go to your terminal management shell and then what you can do is you can type a command show ltm persistence and persistence records if you see you can see both the records so 200 is going to your 10113 and this is going to your 10112 uh, so this is your source this is your destination destination is going to be same uh, uh, always in this case so this is your uh, uh, record right so in, a, in order to um, enable this um, it is clearly mentioning you to in, um, i mean enter this command that is modify modify sys and db and you are dot statistics uh, module statistics and then local traffic and then persistence record and then value is your true right value is true that is the one and done right and then you have to save uh system save sys config right that is the command to save the config nice mm. uh, once that is done i need to refresh this and i should see the records here as well so i have this guy going to this and this is source address affinity i told you this comes under the uh, ip affinity right so that is how it is okay guys so if you um, so that was uh, checking the records from the gui if you want to check the records from the cli uh, here you have to type in a command show ltm persistence persistence record right that i showed you so this is the one so yeah so this is your persistence based on your source ip address so if i change uh, i mean change this ip address of server say server uh i mean the the machine here let me just come down and this is my i think this is the i have to check the ip address here i don't remember this should be the 200 i think yeah if i do if config here so yeah this is 200 so let's change this to say 190 to 168 or oh, not 160 dot one dot hundred dot say ninety nine right so I change the IP address right and apply the exit and then I will again open this one ninety two on one dot hundred dot one fifty so this should go to another server so this goes to server two right and I've checked the record here so there should be another one. So that's how uh, it is done based on the source IP address. So now let's change this to this is based on host, right? Per host. So this is a slash 32 second mask. Uh, that is by default. So if you want to change this uh, uh, behavior, you have to create uh, a persistence rule, uh, custom persistence rule. For that, what you need to do, you need to go to this uh, profiles policies. Okay. Virtual server. So this okay. First of all, we have to uh, I mean delete this. I mean back to normal update. So now we have to create okay. This is this has been now we have to create the profile. So you have to go to the profiles, persistence profile, click here, and now we can see the default profiles here. So we don't want the default, we want to create a uh, custom one so you click on create and then let's say uh okay persistence based on source network right the whole network and here you have to specify the uh the parent uh type of the persistence so this is uh, this comes under the uh, source address affinity this one right like that so it will uh 
uh, take the default uh, settings of the uh, source address affinity but here what you can do is you can change it according to your uh, requirement so say the default time is like three minutes right each time out you can change it to say five minutes so let's keep it as 300 seconds hmm? and the prefix length right so this is none that means slash 32 you can specify the prefix length here so i can go to ipv4 and say 255.255.255.0 right and finish that's it that is what i will do some fields are uh, which one prefix length okay i think we have to go with this one right slash it doesn't take the soap the mask it takes the prefix length fine now what we have to do is we have to attach this uh person key profile to my virtual server and then uh there will be a single record for that whole address i mean subnet so if i go to here and then i have the new uh custom profile that i created uh and select here and update right and now if i go to the wait a second if i go to my cli that should be flushed by now if i go yeah it has been flushed and if i check in here also not here i have to go to the statistics wait a second guys statistics local traffic and here i have to go to the persistence record and there's nothing right so nice let's go to my um again the linux boxes and i will open up new windows right and i will again http to the same 192 this address and let's see okay it's asking for the username password obviously it will ask and this this has gone to server one. so this site should also go to server one now because this is part of the same uh network right let's see yeah so every time i refresh both the machines because they are based on the same network it will go to the same what you say so right and if i check my persistence table here i have uh persistence for the slash 24 for the whole network right and if if i go in my cli to check that yeah i have the same thing so this is based on your persistence uh source address and you can do the same with the destination but but for that you need to have different server a virtual server set so accordingly that will happen so yeah guys uh that is it for the persistence and uh, and yeah uh, See you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my videos and stay in touch. Bye bye.